本日の激レアさんは803日連続でスキヤを食べ続けている<笑><笑> You know that old saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade? Well, what do you do when the internet gives you a seemingly endless supply of money to eat at your favorite Japanese fast food chain? It sounds absurd, but this is the reality faced by Manaris, a Japanese man on a never ending quest to eat at the same restaurant every single day. Through his challenge, Manaris has exploded in popularity, making headline news, becoming famous on Twitter, and even appearing on TV. But it doesn't end there. Manaris isn't allowed to stop eating until his balance runs out, and the internet trolls are determined to make sure that doesn't happen. For this video, I had the opportunity to interview Manaris and hear his story firsthand. Let's take a closer look at who he is and how this challenge came to be. It all started because Pokemon Sword and Shield were coming out, and Manaris wanted a Nintendo Switch. It was around this time his friend gave him some very useful info. An app called Merukari was so desperate for new users, if you referred someone, both you and your friend would get a thousand yen worth of points. This gave Manaris an idea. He already had a bit of a following on Twitter because he used to be a pro gamer. What if he referred them? <laughs> the pieces all came together to form what Manarisu thought was a perfect plan. He was going to refer his followers, use the money on food, and buy a Nintendo Switch. Manarisu made this tweet that changed his life forever. It says, Sign up with my code. I will use all the money I get until it runs out at Skia. At the time, he didn't realize what he had just signed up for. Lucky, or perhaps unlucky, for Manaris, he did get those 10 people on the first day. But over the following days, it didn't slow down. So that's what he did. On September 7th, 2019, Manaris ate his first of many beef bowls at Skia. To celebrate his first meal, he ordered his favorite with green onions and an egg. Day three, he went twice in one day to try to work through his points, but he still saw an increase of almost 4,000 yen on the day, to which he reacted, Uh, I used my points, why are they still going up? Day seven, nobody signed up, and he actually managed to decrease his points for the first time ever. He tweeted, The goal is in sight. Unfortunately, he could not have been any more wrong. But before we get into that, you're probably wondering, what is Skia and what are these beef bowls that he's eating? In addition to Western chains like McDonald's and Burger King, Japan also has its own fast food too. Beef bowls are a very common quick meal for people in a hurry, and because they're basically just beef, onion, rice, and some sauces, they're cheap and really fast. You can be sat down and eating within two minutes of entering the store. And if you're really in a hurry, you can do what this guy did. <laughs> When it comes to beef bowl chains, there are three main competitors Matsuya, Yoshinoya, and Skia. Manaris chose Skia because it was his favorite, but also the closest to his apartment. For the next few weeks, nothing really changed for Manaris. Despite getting a ton of referrals at the start, he was now just kind of coasting along, receiving a few signups here and there, but also spending around 500 yen every day at Skia. At 30 days, Manaris celebrated his one month milestone with a tuna bowl. He got a few referrals on that day as a result, too. The period around the two to three month mark was the hardest, according to Manaris. He was so bored, he started making his food worse on purpose. Around the 100 day mark, the hype was kind of dying down, and his balance was falling as a result. If that wasn't bad enough, he received some very unfortunate news. The campaign was ending, and the referral bonus was being halved to 500 yen. Things were not looking good for Manaris. But on day 137, he woke up to a surprise. His balance had more than doubled overnight. 
there was an article written about him which caused over 40 people to sign up. He was now at his highest point balance ever. The article, plus the campaign ending soon, caused a lot of people to sign up. They didn't want the challenge to end. On day 190, his point balance broke 100,000 yen. Around day 200, a few final signups came in right before the campaign ended to give him a little boost. Another convenient thing for Manaris is that of all the beef pole chains, Skia does have the most variety. This video shows what he's talking about. It's often called the frisbee bowl because it kind of looks like a frisbee. Back at the challenge, around day 240, things were looking good, but it didn't take long for the reality to sink in. With the referral bonus halved, his points were going down a lot faster than they did before. And on day 270, his points fell below 100,000 yen for the first time in 80 days. It wasn't looking good for Manaris, and honestly, he seemed kind of burnt out. If you look at the big spikes that started happening on the graph, that's because he'd stopped posting every single day and would just post once every four or five days showing all four receipts. It wasn't all bad news. On day 365, the official Skia Twitter account recognized his dedication and gave him a little congratulations. But overall, the trend was not good. It looked like the challenge was about to end. <laughs> On New Year's Day of 2021, Manaris ate Skia for the 467th time, leaving him with a remaining balance of 70 yen. He tweeted, if nothing changes, tomorrow will be the last day. Seeing his desperate tweet, a few people did sign up, but it wasn't enough to make a big difference. He was just kind of treading water. At this rate, the challenge could end any day. If he got at least one sign up every single day, he might make it to 500, and that became his goal. He managed to just keep treading water for long enough that the hype started building up again. And before he knew it, he had made it to day 500. But that wasn't all. For the second time, the official Skia Twitter account recognized his achievement. And this time, it went viral. The challenge was saved, and Manaris was now locked in for at least another three months of Skia. On day 626, Skia gifted him a bowl from the restaurant. Yes, Manaris has a Wikipedia page. The bowl is on display in his apartment, leading his friends to sometimes ask if he stole it. Oh yeah, did I mention he never told his friends, family, or co-workers about the challenge? His co-workers kinda guessed that something was up though. On day 730, Manari celebrated two full years of eating skia every single day. Again, the official skia Twitter account celebrated, tweeting out Manari's name in ASCII art. This prompted an article that ended up on the front page of Yahoo News. Now, you might have noticed on the graph in the background that things are not looking good again. Unlike the time before, it wasn't completely hopeless. Manarisu had been invited onto a TV show that showcases people with rare experiences. Like this guy who rebuilt the DeLorean from Back to the Future, or this guy who managed to explore the South Pole on a bicycle while still working remotely. Unfortunately, it had been months since the filming and it still hadn't aired. Manarisu was worried. On January 10th, 2022, day 840 of his challenge, 
the show aired. Not only was Manaris going to make it to Day 1000, he was now locked in for at least two more years of Skia. Day 1000 was celebrated with a bang. First, a fan of Manaris created a website in celebration. <laughs> I can't even see my cursor. A whole bunch of people collaborated to make a music video with him. And biggest of all, Hajime Shacho, the largest YouTuber in Japan at the time, met up with him on day 1000 to eat skia together. Apparently, right before this, Hajime Shacho was at a big boxing event in front row seats that cost like $16,000 and left early to go and celebrate with Manaris. Day 1000 was an unbelievable celebration for Manaris, and as you can guess, because of all of this, his mom did find out about the challenge. <laughs> After the celebrations for Day 1000, he was invited to appear on TV again, airing on Day 1120. This, of course, caused his balance to increase even more. A balance this high means at least four more years of skia. I asked Manaris how he felt about that. What if it doesn't end there? Do you still see yourself doing this in 10 years? Speaking of your health, I'm sure people ask about it a lot. How has your body changed throughout the challenge? Have there been any times where it was difficult to go to Skia? What about days where you just really don't feel like going? Okay, what about the opposite? Tell me about times where you've gone to Skia more than once in a day. I asked Manadis if there's any reason he's been able to continue for such a long time. He said he's always loved challenges and told me about one he did in the past. So that's why when he made the challenge, he didn't think it would be too much of a problem. All right, well, you're all caught up on Manaris and his challenge. He's still eating skia every single day, and he probably still will be 10 years from now. All of this just because he wanted a Nintendo Switch. There's actually a lot more interesting stuff about Manaris that I couldn't fit in this video, but it's too long already, so I plan to put some of it on Patreon instead. Please consider subscribing if you want to support the channel. Thanks to Manaris for doing the interview, and my patrons, including Jason the Artist, Check out Manaris' Twitter, I'll have a link in the description. Sign up for his thing if you live in Japan and want to increase his balance further. Thanks for watching, and thanks for waiting so long for this video to come out.